Thank you, Richard. Um, and from Ramadan Mubarak to all. Welcome to the FII Institute series, the companion of our annual FII. With this second edition, we continue to generate ideas and take them from thinking and to doing. Action is crucial as the world begins to emerge from COVID. But what is the path from rescue to lasting economic and social recovery? This debate has been underway for some time. Our 2020 series, Do Not Forget Our Planet and Neo Renaissance theme explored green recovery. Our takeaway is that recovery calls for a restart and ESG environmental, social and governance performance can guide a truly global endeavor. But business as usual cannot bring rebirth. That's why I believe ESG is so important for rethinking how economies and societies intersect. Of course, many of us rightly say that ESG is not new. Good stewardship, fair treatment and giving back have long guided great organizations. But post pandemic, ESG ensures that investments are vetted for responsibility, fairness and transparency. What's more, ESG can open the way for policies and practices that serve people and the planet. But what does the new paradigm looks like? Under the new model, business can realign in two ways. First, by delivering positive outcomes based on the UN Sustainable Development Goals. And second, by resolving to help humanity without degrading nature. So how do we enable ESG? Corporations need the freedom to align their business models and investments with the requirements of host markets and communities. And to look beyond short term gains to inclusive long term returns. It's imperative that ESG frameworks and standards consider emerging market realities. Otherwise, investors risk increases such as missing high yield opportunities or not dedicating enough capital flows to accelerate economic greening. Renewable energy is a good example with the new framework to which we aspire. Saudi Arabia is facing a threefold increase in electric power demand by the year 2030 while committing to reducing emissions. So renewable energy is clearly a win-win proposition. PIF also is responsible for de developing 70% of Saudi Arabia's renewable projects pipeline, ensuring a large scale capacity. Just last week, a great example of public private partnership between Aqua Power, the water and electricity holding company Badil and PIF launched the 1.5 gigawatt Sudair solar power PV plant that would reduce carbon emission by a staggering 2.9 million tons annually. Our gig projects are another good example for the sustainability best practices, such as NEON recently launched the world's largest green hydrogen project that will as well as NEOM Investment Fund, which aim, both of them aim to become the global ESG leaders. And also the Red Sea Development Company aim to set global sustainability standards with projects being completely carbon neutral and powered by 100 renewable energy. Also the government green program through regulations and fiscal spending are another ESG vehicle. Just a month ago, the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman announced the Saudi Green Initiative along with the Middle East Green Initiative as part of the kingdom's climate change response. So the initiative 
seeks to reduce carbon emission by 60% and 50 billion trees and plant, plant in 50 million trees com complete in Saudi G20 promise on a circular carbon economy and coral reef protection. Not only does such action protect the planet, it reduces financial risk of climate changes. Sovereign wealth funds also have a role. PIF is a founding member of the One Planet, championed by the French President Emmanuel Macron. To accelerate responses to climate change and investment decisions. The working group created an initial framework to guide investments and innovations with regards to climate change, a group that has now grown to 33 financial institutions. This past year has been like no other to our collective memory. And our hearts go out to those who suffered tragedy and loss in this pandemic. In time of hardship, our challenge is not just to restore order from chaos, but to correct and improve for tomorrow, with resilient business model becoming more important and more ESG financial products on the market, there has never been a better opportunity for more sustainable future. Done right, an ESG reset can make economic more efficient, effective and inclusive. Ultimately, ESG is more than a social impact strategy. It's a business strategy. So it's critical that ESG remains true to accelerating and amplifying companies' full potential. That can only happen if we improve ESG reliability and usefulness, ensuring it's consistent and transparent. We must standardize methodologies and criteria and make underlying data available. Today, I'm pleased to announce that I've given the FII Institute a mission to create and publish a standardized ESG corporate rating methodology as a way to address these challenges. A catalyst and compass for change as well as all to seek better for our planet. Thank you all, ladies and gentlemen, and I wish you a productive con uh, conference. And a big thanks there to His Excellency Yasser al rumayan and of course to Richard, both of you really setting the scene there. Thanks for your words of Wisdom, encouragement, and indeed call to action here that there is still so much to do. Let's get straight to a poll. I want to hear what's on your mind and see what you're thinking about out there. And we're really going to be looking at now um, ESG standards. This is very vital here, and everybody talks about this. And, you know, what do we do? How can they actually help make sure that that transition is? Yeah. When I was in Texas. So let's get that poll up and we can see what's on your mind. And to all of you here on the platform particularly, you can actually pay attention there and make sure we get through it. So what do we need? Is it a single standard? Do we need that one global agreement? Um, perhaps there's bias in uh, ESG ratings and definitions. What about that? Do we need alignment there? Have a think, have a look. Also, the underlying data that probably needs a little bit more attention to rather than just the top line ratings. All of these things vitally important, I know. But we're curious to know what's on your mind. And again, technology. A lot of this totally driven by technology. But really, we need to be looking at artificial collection and analysis. All of that hugely important. So lots there for you to consider. We're going to give you the results of the poll in uh, a short while. but. Uh, Take a minute there and make sure you put in your vote and we'll analyze it all and come back to you. So now, of course, uh, as one of the leading economies in the world, everybody is interested in the progress that's been made in China when it comes to ESG. So now let's take a, a listen to one of those companies. We're delighted to be joined um, by Longi Green Energy Technology and the president and the CEO joins us. So let me welcome Li Chenggu. Delighted to have you here, sir. <laughs> 